<laughs> Guys, this is the new Vakortsen VT2. What is so neat about this particular setup is not only is it 17 HMR, but it's also 22 Magnum. Let's get into the video. A lot of you complain since my channel is predominantly rimfire that I don't do enough 22 mag or 17 HMR videos, so you're going to get both of them in this particular video. Now this is the Vakortsen BT2. This is their takedown rifle uh, that they came out with early of 2022. And I've been shooting it now for a couple of months and it is a tack driver. It is a semi-automatic chambered in 17 HMR and also 22 mag. It comes right here with an adjustable stock. This is a Magpul stock and a Magpul grip. It also comes with carbon fiber barrels, whether you get them in 17 HMR or the 22 Magnum. You can have two different kind of handrails. This is the shorter handrail, or you can get the longer handrail, which I have on the 22 mag barrel. This particular one I do have suppressed in the 17 HMR, and they both come threaded half by 28. Your M locks are on both sides of the rail, and also at your six o'clock. So for mounting a bipod, it really comes in handy. But what sets this rifle apart is this, okay? I'm gonna take the magazine out, stick that in my pocket. You see this little button right here? You simply just press that button, pull that lever down, bam, this comes out. And I will show you probably later on in the video how well this setup retains its accuracy. And to put it back in, simply just slide it back in. Flip the handle and you are good to go. Now you do have a milled pick rail right here on top of this aluminum receiver. It has zero MOA adjustments in it. So if you want some uh, adjustments, you're gonna have to get uh, some rings with those adjustments in it. But on top of here, I've got the new Crimson Trace. This is the Brushline Pro with the BDC reticle. It is four by 16. And uh, I've been shooting it on a lot of my setup. It's a perfect little scope uh, without breaking the bank. And uh, let's see what else. Oh, this side right here, uh, you can actually take the barrel off, slide it into this rail right here and carry it in your backpack. It kind of keeps it secure. It does take Ruger magazines and those magazines do hold nine rounds. What else can we talk about it? Oh, the trigger. Every one of the Vakortsen rifles come with their uh, standard 2.0 trigger. I say 2.0 means it breaks at about two pounds. It's very clean, it's very crisp. I have put over a thousand rounds in the 17 HMR and the 22 mag out of this rifle and it has performed greatly and it is absolutely a tack driver. Now I'm gonna get back here on the bench and I'm gonna show you guys what exactly this rifle can do because let's just be honest, if a rifle is not accurate, it's not interesting. Now it comes to the part of the video where you guys want to know how this rifle shoots. Anything for Corson is going to shoot really well, but you got to remember this is a semi-automatic platform. This is not a bolt action platform. So anything an inch or better in semi-automatic, you know, that's pretty good. And you got to remember the ammunition that I'm shooting is hunting ammunition. It's not match ammunition. So uh, I got a target set up down there at 100 yards and I am shooting first and foremost some um, federal game shock. These are some 50 grainers traveling at, what are they traveling at? 1,530 feet per second. So typically I have put probably four or 500 rounds through this rifle and typically I'm getting about an inch group, inch and an eighth, something like that. It may shoot a little bit better here today. It may shoot a little bit worse, but I've been typically getting about an uh, inch and an eighth group at 100 yards. And I'm going to have to take my glasses off. I know this is not the best firearm safety in the world, but um, I can't see through my scope through my glasses because it's kind of dark in the woods today. All right, let's see what kind of five shot group we can get here. Now we're going for groups here, not center of bullseye. So I think at last shot, I may have pulled a little bit. Let me shoot again to see if it was me or the rifle. I think it was me. 
Oh yeah, it was me. So yeah, there you go. That's about, that's about an inch group at 100 yards. So that's typically what I've been getting out of the 22 Magnum. Now I'm gonna swap out the 22 Magnum barrel from the 17 HMR barrel, resight it in because guess what? You can't just swap out barrels and expect the scope to be on for both calibers. Uh, the twist rate is different and we're talking over a thousand feet per second difference too. So I'm gonna swap those out and see what kind of groups I can get with the 17 HMR. All right, let's swap this barrel out real quick. Now there's gonna be a little bit of, well, not a little bit, there's gonna be a lot of moving um, on this scope to get it sighted in for the 17 HMR. But if you're using this as a backpack gun, you're probably not gonna be taking both barrels with you. Uh, you're gonna be just taking, you know, the barrel that you have it sighted in for. So, all right, I'm gonna be shooting, let me put these up real quick before I lose them. I'm gonna be shooting some of the CCI 17 uh, HMR VNTs. Uh, these are traveling at 2650. So a thousand, uh, 2650, so 1100 feet per second. They're, they're about uh, faster than the 22 Magnum. And the magazine is used for both. So the 22 Magnum magazine and the 17 HMR magazine, you can use for both. So let me load up 10. And I'm gonna show you kind of a quick way if you're gonna swap out barrels of what to do. So I've got a big piece of steel down there at 100 yards. I'm just gonna to try to print on that steel to see where I'm hitting. I know I'm gonna to have to go way down with this ammunition because I've shot this rifle enough to know that. But to take it down, it's pretty simple. So press the button on the side, flip the lever. And with the 17 HMR, I'm actually going to shoot it suppressed. Grab the 17 here. It's my, boy, it's tight. That's a good thing about the quartz and all oh, their machining is so tight, custom. All right, there we go. All right, now I've got a suppressor on there and um, I am going to shoot that piece of steel. Extend my stock out a little bit. There we go. All right, got loaded up here. I know I'm going to have to go uh, way up. So let's try that. And let's just see where that gets me. All right, here we go. Okay, I need to go down, big time. I went the wrong way with the turrets. Still need to go down. Down just a hair more. And now I need to go right, about a foot. Okay, we go right a little bit more. Okay, that's grouping pretty good. All right, so I need to go to the left, about four clicks. Make sure here, one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's go six and let's go up. One, two, three, four. Okay, just one, two, three, and left. Need to go right, one, two. That should be good. All right, so now I've got this roughly sighted in. So that took me a whopping, you know, eight shots, nine shots to go from one caliber to the other to get it on paper. Let's load up the magazine here. Let's go for groups. Now it's not gonna be dead center of the bullseye, but it's gonna be close. It's gonna be at least uh, well enough where you guys can see how this thing groups. Now the 17 HMR does group quite a bit better than the 22 Magnum. In my opinion, I've shot as low as 0.5 inch groups, so half inch groups at 100 yards with this rifle. But let's see if I can do it on camera today. That's the important thing, if I can do it on camera. 
second to make sure there was nothing in there. All right, let's see what we can do. Let me bring this back down. I love my Caldwell lead sled. You guys give me a hard time about shooting this Caldwell lead sled with rimfire. I just like it. It's what I'm used to. It's not that the 17 HMR has a tremendous amount of recoil or anything. All right, here we go. That is a pretty good group. It looks under an inch from here. Now, what you guys are probably can tell, it's shooting a little low, all right? So what I'm gonna do now is take the magazine out, and you're probably wondering how well this rifle is going to hold zero if you're gonna use it as a backpack gun. And of course, everybody wants to know that, that answer. So let me load up some more rounds here. I'm gonna shoot another five shot group, but I'm gonna take the barrel off put it back on and see if it changes the point of impact. Now, testing I've done before, the barrel, uh, it shifts maybe a quarter of an inch, like this much at 100 yards. So, which isn't bad, still minute of squirrel, um, if you're gonna be using it as a backpack gun hunting. So, simply take the barrel off like so. All right, you're backpacking, yada, 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 yada through the woods. You see a 7,000 uh, pound squirrel and he's about to attack your family and you have got to get your rifle together and save your family's life. So simply put it back in there, good to go. Here comes that humongous squirrel. And let's see how well it groups now that I put the barrel back on it at 100 yards. I'm gonna shoot right underneath where I was just shooting. Well, it had no point shift whatsoever. It's exactly the same group as above it, and it looks pretty good from here. It looks definitely under an inch group. Let me retrieve the targets, and let's do a little bit of talking, and we'll finish up the video on the Vakortsen VT2. All right, let's take a look here with the uh, 50 grain Federals. Uh, you remember when I called out that shot, that was me. I, I knew when I pulled the trigger, that was a bad trigger pull. But, you know, I think this was like a six or a seven shot group with a 22 Magnum. That is pretty good. I have three, well, I have two right here on top of each other, then the third one, and then I have two right here and one also right here. So that is a little bit, that's probably about an inch group um, at 100 yards. Not, ta not talking about this one, this one was all me, but about an inch group with the 22 Magnum. That's typically what I've been getting. Maybe sometimes I could shoot like a, a 0 0.8, 0 0.9, but let's talk about this 17 HMR. That is crazy. I think I shot five. I only see three holes, but that's a, a, that's a five shot group. That's like a 0 0.3 shot group at 100 yards. And then when I took the barrel off, it only opened up a little bit more. We're talking probably, uh, that's probably at least probably about a 0.7 inch group. Yes, I'm just estimating here. I've been measuring groups for 20 years of my life or 25 years of my life, but it's pretty close. Okay, maybe off a tenth, but this is definitely sub MOA and that is just that is ridiculous. That's like 0.3 uh, inch group at 100 yards. So will the Vakorts and VT2 shoot? Absolutely, it will shoot. Guys, thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions whatsoever about this setup, you can put them in the comments below. Until next time, y'all be safe and keep blinking. Mm -hmm.